But anyway. <laughs> All right, here we go. I got my pants from Target, actually. Target is great for pants, though. Well, we got a, we got a, we got a, we got a haul ass right now because here it goes. <laughs> yo, oh yo, yeah. Let's get back. Let's get, let's yeah. Get let's get back to the. Let's get back to the game. Look, man, these guys don't even. They don't give us a moment, man. They just start going, dude. We don't even get to slow down. <laughs> man, uh, already starting off pretty even here. Um, Sanito running through the Roy Gauntlet, but I'm sure this is not new for him at all. Oh, this is Winter's Finals, right? I believe, yeah, it is actually. We gotta update that. Yeah, let's uh, get this updated for you guys. Oh, we leave it as round three. So here's the thing: we really, really need to see a change of pace because we know that Sanito is warm in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, like he, yeah, he literally just got done playing, uh, you know, one of the best Roy's, uh, period. So, you know, but I mean, Mugen is also a contender for, you know, he's, he's on the same level, it, it, at least it seems like to me. He's like pretty good. Oh, so, absolutely. I mean, when Mugen wants to, Mugen is the top dog. Yeah, like that. I mean, he just, I mean, Mugen also just beat Fatality. So, I mean, that like is kind of yeah, a nothing, representation. Nothing to, to what I'm saying. look short at. You, this game has been so back and forth. Both players trading blows in neutral. But again, the way Mugen racks up damage, it's very hard to call him out. Yeah. And right now, uh, both got both of them. Uh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's let's slow down for a moment because Sanito was looking like he wanted to do something nasty there. He was looking like he wanted to turn into Supersonic just for a moment. Yeah, and here's the thing. Look. <laughs> oh. This could. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, you got the custom combos coming out via them, maybe. Look, when you reach this level of play, <laughs> especially in the state of Georgia, you just have to understand you're going to be playing against boys who can make combos up on the fly. Yeah, I mean, clearly, because I'm seeing stuff I've never seen before. Uh, it seems like every match I'm learning something new as uh, we're on this high uh, percentage portion of this uh, game one in winner's final. I mean, oh! yeah, there that it is. That was a great way. Yeah, just great patience coming out from Sanito. And Sanito has gone away from using the spring as a way to deter Mugen from running down this match. Yeah. I mean, and it's uh, working out in his favor right now. Uh, he's up uh, stock still, and he managed to sneak back on. Now he has positive control of this ledge. Yeah, what was I mean, look. Sanito should not be alive by most counts right now. 160% yeah. is Sonic against Roy, you're just asking for disaster. Oh! Yeah, like that. Uh, <laughs> and disaster comes as uh, Mugen evens up the score. We got an even game here. Oh, they're on their last stop. Who is going to take this one home and start off the set? Good uh, recovery by Sanito. There was a fashion. chance where he could have just lost his life right there. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to catch him uh, on this ledge with the flare blade. Not exactly getting it. Oh, but here are the Sonic combos come out. Oh, with a dash attack in the guy. That was kind of clean, man. I love watching these guys play. You never quite know what to expect. Yeah, what I'm trying to say, what I love watching is that these top level players take the information that they've learned from other players, apply it to the matchup, and then tweak it on the fly. Oh, and now, so, how is Roy getting back? Oh, Sanito going for it all right there. Oh. And how many times are we going to talk about Sonic pulling his body back on that forward smash, man? That is a classic I mean, Sonic move, man. Look, move. look. If Sonic didn't have eight moves that turn him into a ball, that would be Sonic's signature attack. That's all I'm saying. I mean, good lord, this that move has such obscene reach. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's so strong, man. Yeah. It, ling it lingers a little bit too. It's a it's a crazy move. Now, I didn't see where we decided to go, but Mugen does have two games to work with. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, now that we're in uh, at finals territory, you know, we got a lot of room for adaptation and changing game plans. So up. I like the choice to go to small battlefield here. I think overall it offers him more chances to try and punish Sanito for approaching recklessly. But right now we just see Sanito is just mashing to get in there. And mashing isn't necessarily a bad thing. If you need to do it in a matchup, you need to do it. Yeah. I mean, especially if uh, your character has the frame data and the speed to do it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, hey, absolutely. that's just the game, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, some characters inherently do mash right now. Oh, you, ooh. Almost you has such 
pull it. Pressure on the ledge. Yeah, man. Sonic's got the James Harden <laughs> with the step back F smash, but then he has the James Brown with the down smash. I mean, good. <laughs> oh! oh! And there, there he goes, the, the forward smash again. I mean, so, look, can we say that's the MVM, the most valuable move so far uh, oh, for Sunita? Sure. <laughs> oh, he doesn't do it. See, here's the thing. With, with Mugen, he is so consistent at calling out missed techs. Yeah, man, I mean, with Roy, like, you want to be, right? That's how you're going to get those jabs into, so you can get those jab back airs or get those side B confirms. Yeah, I mean, this, this still feels like anyone's game, but I am very afraid of Sunito. Yeah, I mean, like, right now, uh, you know, these guys are really competitive with each other. It doesn't really seem like either. Oh, well, that jab line. Oh, hit, hit him with the James Brown. You know he has to. Sonic out here moving for real. Right now, it's just so. This is just so tense. Yeah. Even though Roy is at a huge deficit. Oh, and that's going to do it. Roy does go up uh, a stock uh, in round three of the Smash Bowl winners' finals. Ooh. We need to see how. Jumps off the ledge with that. This is going to advance. Yeah. Got off the ledge with that uh, side B. It worked out for him. Yeah. Using some crisp movement, some smart uh, usage of B reverses in order to land versus Sonic. And just yeah. maintain this 157%. He wants this rage. Yeah, this rage will help him secure the stock, especially against a player of Sunita's caliber. But what we do need to see is that Sunita needs to take this stock out. Great job. Sooner rather than later. Yes. So that way he can start to regain tempo and end this series. And uh, yeah, he's going to do it right there with, I think it was a forward tilt. Uh, final uh, stock here on this game too. Now, uh, you know, right now things are looking pretty good for Mugen, but he has to be careful because yeah, Zanito does have those combos on deck and uh, he will be trying to utilize this little bit of rage he's getting to maybe power up that forward smash and get a really hard punish on Roy. Yeah, and what we've been watching is that Sunito has been just kind of taking more conservative options originally, but now he has a chance to push this forward. Yeah, I mean, he's basically evened up the match at this point. Does only two hits to the jab, that's really smart. Oh, oh, that's how it's, oh, is that it? Oh, not oh. able to kill. I wonder if he went for the up smash if that would have killed. But he probably didn't want to get punished. It might have been a little risky. Oh, so smart. Read the get up attack. Yeah, and what we're looking at right now is that Mugen is just waiting for a conservative option oh. that will end it. And the blazer, the up beat, yeah. takes him out. Yeah, that blazer, that was clutch, man. He just like threw it out there and it worked down his favor. Uh, yeah, Oh, dude, that's my homie. Yo, yeah, hell yeah, dude. That's my guy, man. Dude, that's my boy, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, uh, thanks, Nexus, man. I hope you're doing good, bro. Rats, I saw you got, I think, fourth recently? Fourth? That was... Dude, you're you're leveling up, dude. I love to see it, man. Respect, bro. You got it, bro. You, Yo, we've been doing this for a while, man. Like, we've been doing this for a while, bro. You're getting there. I love to see it. But yeah, I mean, so we got an even game now, right? Like, yeah. we got this game three. Um, we still now, we're doing this best of five, so there's still plenty of room for adaptation. Um, we got Fatality versus uh, Vendetta right behind us. Oh, oh, man, I really wish that was up here, man. I, I'll try to keep you guys dialed in on that, because that one's going to be a so slobber knocker as well, I'm we sure. We Roy going to Town and City, probably one of his better stages, but I feel like Sonic can get away with a lot here as well. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, like, look, we all, we, we've said that a million times, Sonito actually likes to go in with Sonic, but here's the thing, these platforms and this large stage give him the option to play a little bit slower when he needs to. Absolutely. And that's that's one of the hard things about finding a player like Sonito. Not only do you have to play with a player with such great control of like neutral and close quarters, but then when he gets desperate, he might, you know, he might start uh, zoom, 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 zoom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like doing the little rev on you and like you, making you wait. But such good play from Yuga and, and Sanito right now. Sanito just kind of keeping this tempo and making stage control of his own. But Mugen extending his combos effortlessly with platform extensions. Yeah. 
I mean, these guys know the stage clearly. Um, oh, wow, that was such good coverage. Yeah, that was such good coverage. The way Sunito pressures you off stage by staying that close, and then the way uh, Mugen loves to just answer back, dude. I mean, I cannot believe that. How fast these guys are trading blows and then losing a the stock right away because oh, of that decision. Oh, oh, oh. We almost saw something not a little like dirty that, there. Not like that. We're still almost seeing something a little dirty. Wow, these guys are just, bro, these guys, they don't even care that they're off stage. They're just, bro, they're just throwing out moves like they're still, like, they're, like there's stage underneath them. Oh no, but that's going to be tragic for Sunito. Yeah. And that is a huge deal for Sonic. Sonic usually is really uh, trying to get that, uh, that, that lead in percentage. Yeah, I mean, what we need to, see, what we saw is that Union just forced a disadvantage and kept Sunito pinned in that area where every time he made a wrong decision, he ate a massive punish. Wow, I mean, oh, and now uh, Mugen's just turning it up, getting these parries out there, and uh, punishing things that are generally pretty hard to punish, but getting decent punishes off them as well, utilizing those parries. This What? That was a crazy... Ooh. I don't even, my brain just melted a little bit. Well, <laughs> fellow rollers around the world, you need to yeah. watch this set. <laughs> I think all my, I think all, dude, that melted my brain. I think like all my, my knowledge of like long division from elementary school just dripped down my ear, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, I don't remember how to do that. All I know is how to divide these stocks. I don't know where I was going with that one. <laughs> There's the back air. Yeah. You Roses out game two. Uh, game three, good Dude, lord. Yeah, so that was a little tragic from Sunito there. I mean, it didn't really work out. Um, that that SD really hurt. Uh, but, you know, let's see if Sunito can keep his composure and, like, just. So, just, just to give the, everyone a quick update, look behind me. It's even stocks between Fatality and Vendetta. Vendetta with a little more percent taken to him. Plus, Ryu with Rage is a scary thing in this world. Yeah, I mean. Nope, oh, sure you team takes it. You know what game that is up back here? No, I don't. No. So anyway, going back to town, um, yeah, I mean like honestly, let's be real, like that that self-destruct uh, did come in and I know that probably kind of messed up uh, Sanito's game plan. So he doesn't feel like he needs to change the stage because, I mean, really, it was just something that happened. He made a mistake, right? Like, yeah, I mean, a mistake is essentially what it is. You had a flub, it's okay, you have to move past it. Yeah. But how you adapt and overcome that mistake in the future, that is the pivotal moment. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, he's still going to be getting plenty of use out of this large stage and these large platforms. Um, or in, in these wide platforms that allow him to put some space in between Roy. Yeah, and what we've seen so far is that Sunito has kind of gone a little bit more aggressive in this stage, but good look, the back air if, from Mugen. That aggression might not be working out uh, in his favor right there as, you know, that forward air uh, was the reason he got hit by that, was it Roy back air and ended up dying in yeah. his first time. And again, this is what we talked about earlier on stream in terms of calculated risks versus calculated rewards. Yeah. And I think Sunito did take a gamble that the reward didn't necessarily pay out in terms of the risk yeah. assigned to it. Yeah, I mean, it was it didn't work out for him, and now it's continuing not to work out for him. Sunito now looking, you know, this is the first time I will honestly say, Sunito looking a little bit lost. Like, you can kind of see it in his play. Um, don't get me wrong, he's still going in, but, you know, you, I saw a little bit of hesitation in his last approach. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you don't normally see that. That's true, and here's the thing. This, when you say... You know, the disruption in the flow, I'd love to hear you elaborate on that, because from what I'm seeing is, it almost looks like Sunito is gun-shy about pulling decisions, pulling the trigger on decisions, like right Yeah, there. like right there, I mean, like, you know, where normally, you know, Sunito would have been uh, very okay with jumping on him, because he would have had confidence in his mix-up in order to not get punished. He's just jumping back and retreating, because he's like, okay, um, you can actually catching me where a lot of other players don't. And now I don't feel as confident, you know, with this spin dash in this situation. Here we go. Okay, so now Sunito has taken a stop. You have to say this is possibly a breath of fresh air. If you are Sunito, it is a big hill to climb, but it's possible. Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely. Sonic definitely has the tools, and this stage is going to help him. Roy coming out with the. Oh, okay. Oh, no, but then not able to capitalize on that uh, neutral air. Oh, but able to capitalize on that. Okay, Sunito getting his. Yo, Sunito getting his stuff off right now, bro. 
he's like, okay, I got combos too. I'm fast too. I got jab blocks. Yeah, and look, taking a look at this, it is so close right now. Sonino could just rip this stock off. I mean, oh man, this is a little rough for Sonito. Um, you know, we're a little bit worried for him, but you know, uh, let's see. I mean, he's he's pulled. He's, I've seen him pull off some crazy stuff before against really great players like Fatality. Oh, like that. That was that's what we're talking about. <laughs> that, but again, that any straight hit from Roy will kill. Yeah. That that F tilt on shield is very unsafe, but Ooh. the back air takes it away. Yeah, that was great. Uh, a great showing there from Mugen. Um, I mean, Mugen's adaptation there was really good. And then uh, just the evolution of his play from that first game to really start shutting down Sunito, which yeah, is something you don't see a lot of players able to do. Yeah, and when you think about it, in terms of how he's played, Mugen adapted his style consistently over the set, taking in the information and moving as he went through. 